Hey everybody, it's JCP. Um, just wanted to do a quick little update um, since I tend to do them often. Um, it's Saturday, March 10th. Um, it's 8.36 p.m. here and um, I'm just getting ready to go out tonight. Hence my awesomely dramatic makeup tonight. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, my update, as you guys might have known or seen on my, um, on my previous YouTube video, I tried out for The Voice in Chicago for the third season, and, uh, it was nerve-wracking. I want to say I appreciate everybody who left their comments and really nice feedback. It meant so much to me. Um, I ended up singing Adele, Someone Like You. And, um, um, <laughs> uh, it was really, really nerve wracking. I went with one of my good friends, Caitlin, from high school, and we just had a ball. We talked the whole time. We were like trying to loosen people up and like feel good. God, my hair looks super frizzy right now. Blech. Um, but anyway, we like lightened the mood and made other people feel good and it kind of put us at ease and, um, <sighs> well, we got to this room and it was like 10 of us in a group and you have to sing in front of this judge and this, gr these 10 group of people that, well, nine group of people who are on your team, I guess. And, um, I'm going to switch angles. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. That's much better. Right? Better? So you can kind of see what I'm wearing tonight. Just a cute little top I got from Walmart. Anyway, um, it was really nerve-wracking and, um, my voice started getting really shaky because I don't really do this often in front of a group of people and I haven't really, like made a speech to people I don't know since like high school so um it was a little nerve-wracking for me and my voice was shaking and um and I messed up the lyrics hold on and uh I, I messed up the last lyrics which I know sounds kind of ridiculous but since it's such an easy chorus but Anyway, uh, it just, it was an experience, it was a lot of fun, I went with uh, my friend Kim and Caitlin and just like had a ball, like, it just, it was worth it, it was so much, it was so much fun and it was, it was really an experience, um, would I do it next year, I don't know, but, <laughs> um, I just think it'll bring more opportunities, more good opportunities in this world for me, hopefully, so. Um, I'll still be singing on this channel and still trying to get my voice out there and um, just try and finish up school. I have plans to start working with a friend of mine who does events in Chicago, so cross your fingers and hope for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, right now, this household is just dealing with my grand aunt's. Um, health. She has been in hospice. She's been extremely sick. Um, I don't really know what she has or what's going on. I've been hearing that she's having problems breathing, that um, her legs are swelling or her body is swelling. She's losing weight but gaining water weight. I don't I honestly don't know what the medical term for it is. She's not doing very well and they don't expect her to be sticking around for much longer. So my prayers grow out to her that if and when she does go, that it's going to be painless and that it just will be like a setting a butterfly free. I'm really hoping um, that's how it goes because no one wants to see their family and their loved ones in pain. It's just, it's something that... Um, we've just been going through a lot lately. I mean, if she passes away this month, that'll be three deaths in three months of just this year. And, uh, it's, it's tough. It's going to be tough. I don't, my only way of handling it is, is, you know, it's out of my hands and, um, you know, I can pray for her and I can pray for my family's 
you know, to give them strength, and I, I can only do so much, and it's, it's really not in my hands, so, and I think it's really selfish of me to ask, you know, God to keep her on this earth, or whoever, you know, whoever the higher power is, I, I really don't want to be the one to hold her here if this is not where she belongs right now. So, um, that's really what's going on right now, and, um, I hate to say that I dealt with a lot of deaths in my life, so I'm kind of used to it. I hate saying that, but it's kind of how I feel. Um, it's never easy at all, and everybody goes through their different coping methods, and um, I just lost a lot of people in my life, and so it's it's difficult for me to... It's difficult for me to attach, I guess, is the word. And... I love my aunt very, very much, and I'm praying for her that she just, you know, will go peacefully in her sleep, or, you know, anyway, I really don't want to think about it, and I'm probably downing everybody else here. Um, anyway, I'm going out tonight to just kind of uh, loosen up a bit. I'm kind of just stressed out about everything that's been going on lately. I'm, you know, having issues. Um... And, um, I think I said, um, like 15 times. <laughs> so, anyway, that's my little update for March. Um, my dad's birthday is coming up. I don't think he's home. Actually, I don't think anyone's home, so I was really, really happy when I got home. And I could, like, take a bath and relax. That's kind of what I did today. So, um, yeah, I'm planning my dad's birthday and I really want it to be a surprise so and I don't he's probably never gonna see this video I don't even think they know I make YouTube videos but um, how can I say this quick it's been seven minutes geez I'm rambling um, there's like the 19th um, um <laughs> yes so I wanted to do a birthday that he would love because last year I did a western because he's kind of a cowboy like ruggedly you know wanted to be Roy Rogers when he was a kid and um, so anyway I wanted to do something extra special and I know that he is just he loves Disney he loves Walt Disney he loves Mickey Mouse he loves Disneyland he loves Disney World he is just like Disney crazy and if you've ever been to my house and you've been in the basement or in his office you know how crazy he is he has a huge I mean just like a big like half the wall size photo of Walt he's got a Fantasia picture we've got a stuffed Mickey in the basement that we like to have a lot of fun with and uh, I mean he's just crazy about Disney crazy so I'm doing uh, his birthday like Mickey themed so I got a special, special things for him, and um, I'm making him crepes for breakfast, and bacon, and biscuits, and gravy, and orange juice, and just like one of the best breakfasts ever. So, you know, my mom won't be there for his birthday, so I need to like step my game up. So I'm doing that Thursday, and I hope, I hope, hope, hope he doesn't find out about it until it happens, and that everything goes off like that. So. Yeah, what else is going on? What else has been going on? Um, not much has really been going on. I'm just excited to go to the bar. I'm excited to see uh, several of my friends. I think it's going to be uh, amazing. I love it. Um, I'm going out to Last Chance tonight, which is one of my favorite bars. And it's literally like a few blocks away from my house. So um, I'm excited and don't worry. I will be safe. Um, other than that, enjoy your Saturday night for the 2000th uh, ums for the day. And, uh, yeah. No more uhs, please. Um, do you like my nail polish? Hello? I need to repaint it. Don't look at that one. What's a nail that's, uh, fully painted? Not a lot. Here, you can look at my pinky. Notice, isn't that funny how, like, your nails get chipped throughout the day like I mean I, I mean this is nasty and I really need to repaint them but isn't that weird how after you just painted your nails like just these fingers <laughs> just
just these fingers get scratched like chipped but this one doesn't I want to find a nail polish that actually doesn't chip if that ever comes out it's probably gonna be a million dollars but I want it because every nail polish I own they just chip I wash the dishes my nail polish comes off I take a shower my nail polish comes off I take a bath nail come off nail nail come off nail polish comes off I mean I could just be walking around the house and it's like oh great so anyway I've been rambling for 10 minutes straight and because I don't do any awesome edits because I don't know how uh, yeah you're just gonna have to listen to my rambling sorry guys sorry Charlie but it'd be really cool if I met somebody who knew how to do editing or could comment and teach me how to do it then you won't have to watch these really long boring updates anyone any any takers I, I'd really appreciate it for Christmas nope. okay well, I'm going to go enjoy myself tonight, and uh, I hope you guys do the same. Be safe, love you guys, and I will talk to you at the next probably update. Sorry. Bye, guys. <laughs>